I was with some friends the other night at a bar and uh, it was quiet so we were able to talk. We sat around over a couple of quiet drinks and um, we started discussing the CIA and how the CIA in the 70s with the Contra deal were bringing cocaine and um, trying to finance all their black projects, secretive black projects. And uh, I, I thought to myself, wow, you know, like the hostage money that ISIS um, was asking for the two Japanese um, guys, which is $200 million. And I thought that was an exorbitant amount of money. And um, by the time this will get posted, I, I'll guarantee those two Japanese guys will be dead. Um, and I'm willing to take that risk. Um, but $200 million, I thought, you know what? The CIA is starting to use groups like ISIS to extort money out of countries. This is great. This is great. So no more do they have to sell cocaine and heroin at the volumes they used to. Um, now they can just organise groups like ISIS and um, get them to just sponge money from every country on the planet. So it would be very interesting. I mean, I doubt very much whether Japan will pay $200 million. I doubt very, very much whether any country would pay that sort of money, okay? But um, it's just something to think about. And, I, I, you know, I want people to, to sit back and, and just say to themselves, yeah, well, you know, I mean, anything's possible with these psychopaths. Um, yeah, so I, I got a feeling that um, all, this, all this hostage money or ransom money, 200 million. I mean, when, when I heard that, it struck me as just just ridiculous. Who would come up with a figure like that? And and <clears throat> obviously these 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 young kids or whatever they are in ISIS. I mean, okay, like we said, they're a uh, they're a CIA unit. Um, you know, maybe they're not too bright, but 200 million seemed seemed like a lot of money. Anyway, thanks.